Okay, hello there, this is uh, Guaranteed GRP. Uh, what we're doing today, we're just doing a very short video. We've got uh, Danny here. What we're going to do is just going to show you how to mix the GRP. Obviously, a lot of things can go wrong. First of all, um, with the GRP routes, we need to know what the temperature is or the deck temperature. So, you know, either a mobile phone or a thermometer can do for that. Um, Danny here is going to show you, obviously, from start to finish, just to mix the, G mix the GRP up. So what he's doing is obviously we've got the resin, we've got the roof base waterproof resin coat. So it's just tipping in with the resin. Uh, and then what he's doing is so quantity, uh, quantity wise we've got a couple of litres in there, about a litre and a half. So we're looking we're not looking to put less than one percent and no more than four percent with the actual catalyst itself. So Dan fills the actual catalyst container up. So today we're using the Top Seal product. Um, there's lots of different GRP roofs, Scott Bader, Ultraflex, um, all as good as each other. There is no best um, fiberglass or GRP system. So he's, he's just pouring the catalyst into the dispenser. So a good, a good idea, obviously, when, when we've tipped the resin, is obviously, you know the resin is obviously in the tub. Then Ben's gonna obviously dis, dis, dispense with the actual catalyst into the bottle. So looking probably somewhere about around about 20 for that. Um, so as he dispenses it in, he drops it in. So what will happen now is you've got literally anything from, depending on the actual temperature, we're mixing it in, giving it a good stir. We've got literally anything from 10 to 40 minutes, depending on how warm it is today. So it's about 15 degrees today. So mixing enough in, and we've got a working time there with the actual GRP as I say roughly if we allow sort of 15 to 20 minutes always knock the resin up in small amounts um, reason being you're not going to get caught out you're not going to lose your tools uh, re reason being if you knock too much up at one time you're going to it's going to lump up it's going to cure too fast and also with the resin you want it to keep a nice smooth consistency please see more videos from GRP thank you